Hi, I'm Julia Guth, the Executive Director of the Oxford Club. I want to tell you about a special place that's near and dear to my heart and to the hearts of several of my Agora colleagues. It's a small white building that rests on a dusty dirt road in a remote corner of Nicaragua. It's located about a mile from a gorgeous Pacific coastline. Across the street from this building, you see wooden and cement shacks that house entire Nicaraguan families. Chickens and cute little pigs run around the yard alongside the children. It's not the best of sanitary conditions. On a beautiful blue skied morning, you can stand outside the clinic and watch the sunrise over the gently rolling mountains. You'll sometimes see a line of people from the Limon community queuing up at the clinic. They're coming for a polio vaccine, or maybe for a measles or diptet vaccine, or a flu shot. Many come for asthma treatments, a big problem in this area. Or maybe they are there for a lab result or a follow-up after an emergency. Getting support to build this clinic was easy. There was virtually no health care facility anywhere nearby. We received donations from the Rotary Club of Pittsburgh for the building plans and construction, as well as a donation of land from the Granados family in Nicaragua and donations from Agora Publishing and Rancho Santana. The Nicaraguan Ministry of Health certified the clinic and the American Nicaragua Foundation donated medicines. Here's a photo I took at the clinic's ribbon cutting. The children were so thrilled to see a flushing toilet. They kept going into the rooms, joyfully amazed at the modern equipment, including my camera. The 41 villages surrounding the clinic are full of one or two room shacks. They are filled with families who make around $5 a day, usually farming, fishing, or doing construction. Some children don't attend school because they can't afford the $40 for uniforms and supplies or they can't get transportation. The clinic treats children, the elderly and disabled, all for free. Other fees are handled on a sliding scale. No one is ever turned away. This is a photo of me with the first baby born at the clinic. Her name is Bertha Juliana, and she's thriving today. We've had many other babies born at the clinic since then, all healthy. The care comes from the hands and dedication of Dr. Julio Flores, Dr. Castillo, our nurse Martha Miranda, a pharmacist, lab technician, dentist, and visiting medical volunteers from around the world. The team has become an important part of the community. Dr. Flores regularly sends us stories of what has happened with his patients, and some of the stories are harrowing. Perhaps one of our most exciting recent accomplishments is when we worked with the Wheelchair Foundation. Together with them, we created El Programa Silla de Ruedas. We bought 110 wheelchairs to donate to the community, hospitals, and other institutions. The clinic goes beyond medical care. One of our primary goals is to provide health education, as well as English lessons and educational supplies to the local community. We do a lot with preventative health care, including seminars on STDs, birth control, prenatal care, nutrition, and better sanitary practices. Many people ask us how they can volunteer. We do welcome medical professionals to come down and do a clinic or share their expertise. We recently partnered with the Foundation for International Medical Relief of Children. They have a formal program where they bring down a group each month to live and work in the community for one week. Many young pre-med and medical students from the states sign up to get some field experience. They live in the community and have really helped us with medical training, support, and our outreach programs. I realize that many people in our own neighborhoods are suffering right now. And I understand that our local churches, food banks, and job programs could use more donations. Unfortunately, charitable giving is way down in much poorer countries. The people in the Limon villages surrounding the clinic realize this and are worried that our doors will close. But we've reassured them that we have a long-term commitment to improving health care and education in this region, and we're determined to be there. 
We need donations to realize that commitment. We do not have any large benefactors or grant money. So I hope you were able to help both your local community and this impoverished community not so far away in Nicaragua. What the clinic needs is cash donations to keep this project going. We need funds to expand our location and build more rooms for surgery and examinations with more privacy. We need $4,000 to pay for the shipping of a container of donated supplies from the states. And we need funds for ultrasound equipment, operating room lights, as well as computer and DVD equipment. We also have an ongoing wish list of personal care products and medicines, some over the counter and some prescription. You can find this list and make a donation on our website at www.nikaclinic.org. Thank you very much for letting me share the story of our privately funded healthcare clinic in Nicaragua. I'm proud of my association with this community and the clinic team, and I invite you to join us in supporting their amazing work.